Welcome back, everybody. How you doing tonight? So I uh, got a, one of the 2018 gift packs finally. I've uh, been meaning to pick one of these up to open it on the channel. Just haven't gotten the chance till uh, just the other day. I managed to actually not be able to afford to buy a, a full box, uh, but I had a little bit of money to <laughs> throw down on some gift packs. Uh, it's not quite that bad, but it, it's kind of that bad. So. Um, Good old Rony Rona, hurting everybody. Uh, stay tuned because uh, I am tapped out because I did a bunch of pre-orders and I will have, hopefully, in the next few nights, a 2021 box to open on the channel. I uh, should be able to open it a few days early. So, I've also got pre-release kits coming. Uh, hopefully, they'll be here early as well. Um, I do have collector's boxes and Planeswalker decks and all that stuff, but I doubt they'll be here early. They'll probably be here a little bit late, if anything. I wasn't able to get a lot because there's so many sets coming out right now. Everything's so expensive, and, you know, income is not what it used to be before the Rooney Ronas hit. So, without further ado, let's break into the gift pack and see what kind of goodies we get in here. If I can, these things are like tanks. Alright, they look all fancy, but man, they take up a lot of room, and they're not very durable. So, I guess we should look on the back here. So, it comes with the, the five foils that uh, you can pretty much see on top. Uh, we'll go over those as we get to them. Four 15-car booster packs. Looks like they're all going to be core 2019. Oh, that'll be lame. A spin-down life counter, and five premium land cards. I think those are also foil. So, let's take a look in here and see how it all comes out. Of course, we got... Three of them attached to the top that we got to try and get out without damaging because not the greatest design. Well, these spoils aren't warped too bad, though. That's kind of weird. Yeah, get them out of there nice and carefully. All gentle lake. All right, so first up, we got the Angelic Guardian. Angelic Guardian's, uh, I think, like a $5 card, $5, $6 card. Not bad. Yeah, it's foil. I don't know if you can see that there. There we go. Flat. Uh, there's a crazy storm outside, so hopefully you guys can't hear that picking up too much on the microphone. Uh, she's a six drop, two color or two white and four colorless uh, flying. Whenever one or more creatures you control attack, they gain indestructible till end of turn. She's a five five. That's a pretty good ability. That's why she's five six dollar card. Then we got Angler Turtle. He's worthless. Um, he's a seven drop, five seven. He's got hex proof. Creatures your opponents control attack each combat available. Not a good enough upside to justify that kind of uh, casting cost. So he's, I think, like 20 cents or something. And then we got Rampaging Bronodon. The Rampaging Bronodon is another, like, uh, four, $4 card, I think. Um, he's a 7 drop again, but he's a 7-7 seven, seven with Trample. And whenever he attacks, it gets plus 1, plus 1 until end of turn for each land you control. So, I mean, you know, if, you got, if you hard cast him, 7 lands, you got 7 lands out there for your 7-7 seven, seven, that when he attacks is a 14-14. Yeah. Fun stuff. All right, so he, that's why he's worth a little bit. And then we got our planes. Nope, oh, oh, and a free code. Oops. I guess you get the five premium cards in there. I didn't even get them, so. <laughs> Somebody gets to get the free code. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oops. <laughs> there you go. All right, so um, then we got the foil lands here. There's the planes. Here's the island. They don't have the shooting star on them. But really nice foiling, and they look nice, good artwork, but uh, especially I like that sunrise on the planes there. Um, but they don't have the uh, the shooting stars on them, which a lot of people like from the 2017 gift pack. Gift pack. I keep saying pack, I don't know why. And then we got our Vengeant Vampire. He's not worth a whole lot. He's a 6-drop, 4-4 four, four with life link. When he dies, destroy target creature and opponent controls, and you gain 4 life. Eh, I mean, not a bad card, but... Apparently, he's not, uh, not worth much. Apparently, nobody's stacking him. Uh, and then we got our our mountain. Our foil mountain there. Not much foiling on the mountain like the other ones. And then our foil swamp. There we go. Again, not much foiling on the swamp either. The plains looks really cool, and the island looks really cool, but the others are kind of me. And then we got our uh, immortal phoenix. Another 50 cent uh, bulk rare foil. Six drop five three Ugh. flying when a mortal phoenix dies, return it to its owner's hand. I mean, you gotta cast it for another six. Yeah, no wonder he's 50 cents. And then we got our spin down left counter that <laughs> you can't get out of the thing. There we go. <laughs> What's it got? Ah, oh, just a planeswalker emblem. 
in the week. It's, it's kind of a not even a good one either. You see that? It's all like bordered out or too much ink or something. I don't know. All right. And another piece of plastic. Good old watchy. Always looking out for the planet. You know, using biodegradable stuff. <laughs> all right. And then we got four packs of 2019. I guess we'll uh, open them up, see if there's anything in here worth anything. I don't think much, there's much in 2019 worth anything, but we'll see. Um, there's a couple things in 2019, I think, but probably not much. All right, we got a uh, Blanchwood Armor, Skyrider Patrol, Vigilant Belleth, and Demon of Catastrophes. Sounds like my ex-girlfriend. <laughs> what is a piece of pa packaging? I'm like, how come the, how come the cards are all sticking up? Uh, so Demon of Catastrophes, uh, four drop six, six flying trample is an additional cost to cast the spell sacrifice a creature. That's actually not bad. I'd pay four mana and a one drop for a 6-6 six, six flying trample. I'd do that all day long, especially in my sacrifice deck. <laughs> I uh, was using my red-black sack deck tonight on Arena. Man, people don't like that deck. <laughs> they go to kill one of my creatures, and I sack like 14 things, and the, the Mayhem Devils start pinging them every time, and then they get kind of upset, and they scoop. <laughs> it's weird. Uh... I think I won about 17 out of 19 games, 17 out of 20 maybe. Um, I scooped a couple times because, you know, counter spells. Counter spells are way too powerful. Oh, and uh, just in case you didn't know, Arena has a glitch right now with the uh, companions. The companion rules don't apply. I was playing somebody who had Luris as a companion, and I was like, all right, I don't have to worry about... It was a cycling deck, and I was like, oh, I don't have to worry about the uh, oh, the Zenith Flare there. He Zenith Flared me twice. I was like, wait a minute. And then he was he was throwing out a... Uh, I, I played another person that was using a Luris as their uh, companion, and they were hitting me with the Blood Curdles. I was like, wait, that shouldn't work. It's a four drop. Anyway... Diamond Mare, Poison Tip Archer, Johnny's Pride Mate, and Sun Cleanser. How do you cleanse the sun? It's like molten lava. It's boiling. How do you cleanse that? No, I don't get it. All right. <laughs> Moving on here. Two packs left. Ah. We're only getting little chunks of the packs, not the whole pack. I want the pack, the whole pack, and nothing but the pack. All right. Anyways, Johnny's Welcome. I need to add these to my life gain deck, but I think they might have cycled out. I don't know. Uh, Draconic Disciple, Plague Mare, and Spit Flame. Which, again, makes no sense. Spitting, wet, flame, fire. Sun Cleanser, Spit Flame. What? Is this like the irony set? What's going on here? I don't get it. <laughs> Last pack. Just a short video today showing you this uh, gift pack here. And hoping we get something decent. Aether Shield Artificer. Guriper Guide. Oh, murder. Murder, death, kill. And Sarkins and Ceiling. Okay. Not too bad. Uh, whenever you, this one uh, this one just got the reprint. And I think it's uh, Jumpstart. Yeah, I think Jumpstart just got the reprint on this one. So there you have it. So not too much. Oh, we did get an emblem. I didn't even realize that in the last pack. We got a... We got a Vivian emblem. That's pretty nice. Might be worth, you know, 30, 40 cents. <laughs> so, uh, there you have it. That's the 2018 gift pack. That's everything that's in there. I guess you can't really see half that stuff because I put it off to the side here. Uh, there's the two valuable cards. So, pretty much you get you get $10 in cards in, the, in these two. And then you got the foil lands, which uh, these foil basics... Um, I think these are just regular M19 basics. They don't have the shooting stars on them, so they're probably not worth anything. Uh, so that's probably not something you want to add into the value. But you do get four packs, so... I mean, yeah, I, you're pretty much... You are making money on these, because I think they sell for about... I think I paid like 18 bucks a piece for them or something like that. 17 18 a piece. So, uh, yeah, I think they were, I think they were $17.99 shipped for uh, each. So... If you look at it like that, you know, you're buying four packs and you're getting those two cards. If you wanted those two cards, then it's a pretty decent deal. Uh, but 50% of the value is in those two cards. The other 50% of the value is a gamble because it's packs. You might get good hits, you might not, you know. So that's something to consider when you're looking at these. Um, 
I'm not sure about the M19 prices. I, I, you know, M19 cycled out long before I got back in the game. I didn't get back in the game until November. Uh, so it had already cycled out of standard by then. So I have gotten very little M19 at all. Um, this might have, this might have uh, been, oh no, I, I think I opened some bundles and stuff. So, but I don't think I opened a whole booster box of M19 yet. Did I? I don't remember. I'll have to look. Maybe I'll pick one up because they're still pretty cheap. There's not really much of anything worth anything in M19. So you can still get those boxes for about 80, 85 bucks. But, uh, and they're probably not going to go up any. So <laughs> I might get one just to open on the channel. If I haven't opened one yet, I'll have to look. Um, but yeah, so there you have it. If you're looking for some M M19 stuff or you want those two cards, you know, or you just want it to have it because it's cool, you know, there's lots of foily goodness that, you know, could go up over time. Uh, this might be something for you to look at, but that's what's in the in the gift pack. I hope you like it. And uh, yeah, I know it's 2018 gift pack and it's core 2019. It's because the set comes out six months before the end of the year. Uh, for instance, this month we've got uh, core 2021 coming out and it's still only June of 2020. So yeah, they're doing it like cars nowadays. Release the new, the next model year half halfway through the previous year. So, anyways, there you have it. Let me know what you think. And yeah, look for uh, in a couple nights. I should be opening some 2021 early on the channel. So stay tuned for that. Um, please subscribe, hit the like button, and hit the bell notification if you haven't. Uh, so when I do release those videos, you can see it first. So hopefully we'll see you in uh, either tomorrow or the next night for some. Core 2021 unboxing. I'm looking forward to it. Looks like a really fun set. So it's going to be a pretty crazy set. We'll see what happens with it. Thank you guys so much for your time. I really appreciate it. You guys have a great night. Goodbye.